I can imagine. Um, so you're going to be popping up in a couple of shows. I'm waiting for someone to be like, buddy, you're too old. Is you, like, yeah. what are you doing? It's over. It's you not, know. though. How old are you? I'm 40 years old. Come on, man. You're, you're just, come on, a superhero at 40 years old. You can't. You can't. Sure, you can. You, you absolutely start. can. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> um, so you're going to be popping up in? I'm 32. 30, yeah, exactly. You're, yeah, exactly. 40 who plays 30. Yeah. Um, you're going to be popping up in She-Hulk. You need to back off. And waste this outfit? Eugene, get out of here! Don't super suit! You're making a mistake. You made a mistake when you messed with my client! Because now I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> I had a really fun time with Tatiana, and the chemistry between those two characters was so much fun. And the back and forth, we got to see a new side of, of, of Matt Murdock, you know. We got to see a side to him, of him, where he's kind of like, you know, enjoying his role and having fun and flirting and and so it'd be you know we, we only got that one episode so it'd be I'd be really cool if she was to come and maybe do a little arc in our show um, so that would be really cool I kid you not when you came out somebody in the press room here was like huh <laughs> Uh, sweet. <laughs> it is. I mean, what does it feel like to know that your Daredevil made such an impact on people that was literally like the only thing people want to talk about in terms of any of these projects? <laughs> They're like, yeah, but is Daredevil in this one? I, I don't, you know, I'm horrified by any kind of form of flattery. It's like it's a little embarrassing. Yeah. So when you get a reaction like that, it's like it just feels surreal. Like you can't quite imagine it. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I feel really emotional. It's it's a it's a bizarre experience to have. Played this character to have the experiences I've had with this with this character and the journey that we've been on with the show, for that to be finished and ended and it's in my mind and heart it's over, mm -hmm. and then to be yanked back in and suddenly we're starting again and it's all happening again and it feels like a dream. Yeah. It feels a bit like a dream. Popping up in Echo and then I? are you? I don't know. Am I? I thought that was I'm the. Great. Apparently, I'm in Echo. Am I? That's what I've heard. I, don't know. I thought that was confirmed. I haven't heard that. Okay. But we are confirmed for Daredevil: Born Again. We are. Which is what? 18 episodes. Yeah. That's mad, isn't it? That is. Yeah. Um, what, can you? What do you know about that? What I, have, have I, you guys I started? I know working? what everyone else knows, which is a great feeling because I can't spoil anything. Um, I met the, some of the writers last night for the first time. I haven't read anything. Um, I'm psyched to discover how they're gonna, what stories they're gonna tell over that long period of time. Tonally, what it's going to be like? How is it different? How is it? How is it the same? You know, Kevin has been very clear about it being season one, mm -hmm. so not a season four. You know, so yeah. it's it's a it's a whole new deal. Um, and in a way, I th that's a, what, what's great about that is that we potentially get to tell some of the stories over and over again. Yeah. Um, in the same way that they do in the comics. You know, every now and again they start back at the beginning of Murdoch's journey as a little boy, and they tell the whole origin story again. So maybe we'll get to do that, I don't know. What was it like for you to get back together with Vincent? It's, uh, you know, so him and I are now like, you know, dear friends. And we've gone through this experience together. And he was like, can, we, can you believe we're here? And I remember, I was reminded of a conversation. I called him during COVID, I called him from my house and we were chatting and he was like, this is two years later. And he was like, this, I'm sure we're they're gonna do something with us. They're definitely gonna do and I was like, buddy, you are it's it's over, bud. You gotta let it go. You're mad. Yeah. They're definitely not. It's been two years. Yeah. You know, I was trying to keep like trying to help him out. Like, you wake know? Him up a I was like, yeah, yeah, wake him up, you know what I mean? Now, Kevin we talked about the street level heroes and now Spider-Man is a part of that world. I know this is like way cart before the horse, but would you like you would obviously like to team up with Spider-Man and Tom Holland yeah. at some point, right? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, I mean, like that's the dead of the the Matt Murdock, Peter Parker stuff. There's is a treasure treasure trove of stuff to to unpack, um, and we just got that little moment, you know. So yeah, I, I, look, I, it's difficult. I have no idea what they're thinking. I don't I don't know where I'm going to find the time because I'm doing 18 episodes, 18 episodes. of this show. Is there but, anybody uh, else that you want to have yeah, now that you're? I would love to do that. In Spider -Man. the sandbox, who do you who else do you want to play with? I don't know what the rules are. Yeah always so I don't know I'm probably speaking out of turn but like um, you know I, I, Tom Hiddleston's one of my best friends I would, I, it'd be so cool if he even if he just kind of shows up holding a tesseract for a minute and then he's gone again you know that'd be really fun but I don't know it's like all these toys that you want to play with and which ones are we allowed